Hi there, if by chance you're watching this video and your mind and your heart is not a complete peace, you're not feeling the calmness and confidence, I can tell you the reason why. Actually, there are three reasons. I'm Jennifer Zeckles, author and speaker, to give you a little inspiration to find out what is it that's keeping your mind not in complete peace. You see, he's a liar and an accuser. I'm talking about the enemy, Satan who brings to you three reasons to take away your peace. Number one, he tells you the lie that you're not enough. How many times have you lacked confidence thinking that what you know, what you do, what you've done is never enough? God is saying something different. He's saying that his grace is enough. If you count on God's grace and his power and what he's doing right now, that is enough. You have everything you need, everything it takes to get whatever you're facing to be completed and to be done because of God's grace. You need to declare that. Second life from the enemy is he tries to remind you of what happened yesterday, the regrets, the bad decisions, the bad choices. He tries to keep that up front in your mind. But what you need to tell him is what God says to you. He says to forget the former things. Can't you see? He's doing a new thing. So to bring your heart back to peace, you have to tell that liar that the truth that's in you is that God is doing something different, something better. He's having a new beginning in your life. You need to declare that. And the third thing the enemy tries to do is press that lie that says, look, you've been praying for so long. Nothing's happening. Things to seem to get worse. God is not answering your prayer. But you come back with God's truth that says, he was the same yesterday, today, and forever. That means that God performed miracles way back when. God's still performing miracles, and He will do so in your life. Whatever situation you see right now, God is at work. doesn't matter if you don't see the results yet. God is at work. So if you remember those three things, not let the enemy lie to you that you don't have what it takes, or try to remind you what happened yesterday, or try to make you think that, possibly God is not answering your prayer or he won't, you need to put those lies aside and believe in God's truth. Count on it, declare it, speak it, and begin to live in that truth. All that truth is found in God's word, in the Bible. I hope these two or three minute inspiration moments helped you because you see my mission is to serve God and my passion is to allow you to live a victorious, peaceful life. I so thank you for watching this video. Just visit my website. There's a gift for you. And just simply go to giftfromjanet.com. Until next time.